Hello everyone, excellent evening everyone. We are all welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. It's been a day for me and it's been a week for me. But I just told myself I must keep to my dates. <laughs> and that's why I had to incidentally shift this broadcast today to for it to hold at night. Welcome, welcome, welcome to every one of us. If you're online with me, you can go ahead and read so I can welcome you to today's broadcast. Today, it's a special day because it's actually for some group of people. We are going to be looking at effects and remedies for overweight and obesity in osteoarthritis. What are the effects? What, what actually is the effect of are uh, being overweight on the cause of arthritis and things like that. I'll share this and then we get going this evening. Welcome, welcome. We must lose that weight. Weight is not good. And you know, I keep telling people, you need to know why you add weight. That's one thing. What causes weight gain in your own particular life? For different people, it's different. they have different reasons. Hello, Joy. Joy, you're welcome to this evening's broadcast. We are looking at overweight. We are looking at obesity and osteoarthritis. You know, all those kind of knee pains and waist pains that we are having, especially knee pains. Hello Grace, you're welcome. Welcome, welcome to this evening's broadcast as we trash out this thing. And incidentally, I just told myself that I didn't want what is happening. You know, hello, you're welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome wirely to this evening's broadcast as we look at arthritis. Um, I'm having a little bit of some kind of network, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there and we will do what we're supposed to do this evening. So we're welcome, welcome, welcome as we look at this thing. So I was saying that we, you personally, you need to look at your lifestyle. What's your lifestyle? What are the things that are actually causing you to gain weight? What do you do? You know, it's different for different people. Like I was saying, hello, Balogu Federera, you're welcome to this evening's broadcast. It's actually different for different people. You know, some people gain weight because of sedentary lifestyle some other people gain weight because of the food they eat but of course mo mainly most of them are lifestyle changes some other people it's um, a matter of time of eating types of food that you eat so you see a lot of these things can actually cause weight gain can cause obesity can cause um, you to Add weight when you're not supposed to add weight. So you need to learn your lifestyle. Like I always tell us, you need to study your body. You know, if you remember, I always say this. You need to actually study your body. What's your body like? What, what happens to you when this, you know? Listen to your body speak to you. My husband will always tell me that there are some food he will take. He will say, ah, this food, oh, I don't think this food is good for me. You know, that's what he will say. So I'm sweating a lot today. <laughs> you need to find out what is good for you. And make sure that you keep on noticing and, and studying your body. You know, <laughs> from Jamaica, Osla, well done. God bless you. You're having a kind of blood cloth. Okay, um, active C, garlic thyme, and Aji can help you. They just, um, I'm going to drop my number. I'm having a little issues with my MacBook that I'm using to be able to talk with us but if you can come online i'm going to drop my number there for you hello lawani you're welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome 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 unique brown you're welcome to this evening's broadcast so i'm saying you need to learn and study your body when you learn and study your body you'll be able to find out actually and understand your body what is happening to you and be able to know what to eat what not to eat and things like that these are some of the things we must make sure that we do for ourselves you know this place is not letting me this life laptop is not letting me share this so that people can get it i really need to share in some of the places mm, i really need to share but it's just uh, not allowing me I wish it will. <laughs> 
Okay, so you need to actually find out what is best for you. Okay, sharing now. Let me quickly um, share to everyone. One more page to share and then we get going. So learn your body. Study your body. Your body is speaking. You know, it's not just a matter of you taking things and grabbing and not. Be sensitive to your body. Be sensitive to your neck. Sensitive to your legs, sensitive to your stomach, sensitive to every part of your body because they are all speaking to you and when they are speaking to you, listen and obey some even say before you put some kind of food or you go to some kind of places something will just, you know, you have a check let me put it that way, it's a kind of a check you have a check so you need to be careful about these things so we are looking at today, what's the effect of overweight What's the effect of obesity on arthritis? Because osteoarthritis is the most prevalent form of arthritis and the fastest growing cause of disability worldwide. Nigeria, Europe, USA, everywhere. You will find young people and they are limping. In fact, this Germany I'm coming from, I saw quite a lot of people on either wheelchair or they are holding one kind of... Um, um, what do they call it, walking stick or you know all those things to help them you know work and you know globally they say that 18% of women and 9.6% of men aged over 60 years have symptomatic osteoarthritis with a quarter of these individuals unable to perform their normal daily routine of course if somebody can't work well what can you do well because you need your legs to do most of the things you're doing and you know they they you know i had already told us this like three weeks ago that by 2050 they projected 130 million people that will suffer from osteoarthritis god forbid you and i will not be part of it so constituting a significant societal burden on the nation incidentally i couldn't share this on my pages you know for on whatsapp for people to join us i'm going to just share it when we finish and also my network is giving issue i just want to make sure i keep today so thank you for every one of us that have joined hello abisida you're welcome for me to this evening's broadcast so what am i saying in effect overweight and obese osteoarthritis patient have to implement weight loss strategy and then incorporating it with exercise and a lot of mobility and activity. You know, some people will say, hey, I hope this thing will work for me. I always tell them, look, if it will work, if you do what you're supposed to do, it will work. But imagine you finish taking um, forever move because forever move makes you move. I've really helped a lot of people with forever move this month. In fact, I've got to maybe not less than 60 people to 100 people all over the world that bought on this reduced promo that I'm doing for this month, which is going to finish this week on Monday. We're through with it on Monday and it goes back to its normal price. But what's making me happy is that a lot of people already are feeling good. If I want woman, after buying the first bottle, she bought three more bottles. Another woman, after buying, she referred one of her friends. And another one, after buying, she bought so many of the other products and said, ah, she's going to, you know. So I'll, I'm glad. Hello, Udon Wauche. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. Welcome, welcome. So I'm glad it's helping a lot of people. But I always tell them, change of lifestyle. Activity, no sedentary lifestyle. You need to move and you need to walk to what you're eating. Because increasing consumption of long chain you know, um, mm. fatty, um, long omega-3 fatty um, acid, like oily fish, like I told us last week, we treated foods that we should eat. And we did a cooking with salmon fish. Go and watch the page. Just go down the page, click on Monday, and make sure you watch that. Oh, it wasn't last week, it was this Monday. Yeah, just a few days ago. <laughs> and it's looking like one week to me. All right, so we looked at some of the foods that you can cook, some of the foods that you can use that can actually help osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and things like that. Omega-3 fatty fish is one of them. Look for omega-3 fatty fish. Tuna, mackerel, salmon, and add them to your food. You know, somebody was telling me, I was telling her, I said, I don't really take beef again. I don't take some of this. He said, hey, do you cook with the water? Do you? I said, look. <laughs> 
some of those things have come up them and I'm not missing them. In fact, they even, I, they put me off now. So increasing consumption of long chain and three fatty acids, that's oily fish, fish. And especially if you can, if you can get the salmon, get them in supplements like um, our active sea. Very, very good. It can help you. So this improves pain and also improves the function of your osteoarthritis in if you're having it and then reducing raised blood cholesterol and increasing the intake of rich vitamin k sources also will help people who are suffering from osteoarthritis so note these things and some of these things you might not be able to know which food to eat that can give them to you so what do you do you take good supplements I always tell people from age 35, look, don't joke. You need food supplements so that you'll be able to keep glowing, keep looking younger, and keep being fit and having stamina to do what you're supposed to do. And of course, you're not going to spend your whole life in the kitchen trying to sort out. You're not a dietitian, so you might not be able to know what and what you're supposed to eat and the rest. So take food supplement. So any supplement that is rich in vitamin K will benefit your osteoarthritis and also that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids because you know obesity increases the strain on your weight bearing joints and also longitudinally overweight and obese individual are at a considerable higher risk of knee you know arthroplasty so like it let me even use this not my knee but this like my hand when there is weight coming from here longitudinally that's what i'm trying to explain let's just imagine that this is your knee but this is my ankle <laughs> yeah yeah Luatoi, george you say you need forever what let me see i don't think i'm seeing um, uh, fully okay you need forever how forever move back can you get it chat me on my on my number i'm putting my number on the screen now zero z plus two three four my number is plus 234703515151642. So that's my number on the screen. You know, so chat me and I'm going to tell you how you can get your, your forever products. Okay, so what am I saying? I was doing an illustration for us that when there is weight, just imagine that there is weight coming from here, like people who are obese. They are obese. And remember what I told us. At this age, middle age, the most of the fat deposits are visceral fat and they are deposited in our midsection. They are deposited in our midsection in the trunk. So that weight we now go on the knees, that like on the on the cartilage, and we go on the bones of the knees. So that's why the strain on weight-bearing joints. You know, longitudinally overweight and obese individual, they are at a high cost, um, a high risk for knee atroplasty. And you know, an association of higher BMI with the development of hand osteoarthritis demonstrated an additional non-biomechanical role in obesity, you know, of obesity in osteoarthritis also. These are scientific findings. I'm going to be explaining to us what you know all this diagram means. So obesity leads to low-grade systemic inflammation in our bodies, especially around the, the joints. And also weight reduction can also reduce your adipose tissue and restore normal secretion patterns for you. Because when you're overweight and there is inflammation, then you won't have normal secretion patterns because the inflammation will distort the normal secretion patterns. Now, leptin and adipokin generally elevated in obesity. Your leptin is elevated when you are obese, when you are overweight, and then it actually produces is, and is produced by white um, adipose tissue of the infrapalatal fat pad. They may also be part of it. Leptin actually is a hormone predominantly made by our adipose cells. You know, it's an enterocyte in the small intestine when you're digesting and it helps to regulate energy balance in your system by inhibiting hunger, which in turn diminishes fat deposits in your adipocytes. So what that's what happens. These are just the cycle of um, digestion, cycle of, 
you know, production of energy and the rest. And then leptin is also an adipokin generally elevated in, 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 in obesity, like I said. So, and it produces by the white deposits, you know, like I told you. So it will just make your system, your normal secretion pattern not to go the way it's supposed to go. Also, leptin is associated with inflammation and cartilage degradation. So when you're, you're, you have high leptin, then you will, be, you will be prone to inflammation and then your cartilage will be, you know, degenerating. And it, more, it also will have an effect on, especially people who are having osteoarthritis. What happens actually is what I was trying to explain to us. If you look at your your bone, if like the bone that joins, let me even use my elbow, the, the, if I say this is my knee, though this is my elbow, I wish you could see my, <laughs> my system to see it, <laughs> where I am, I couldn't do slides, you know, to show us, or I couldn't do what I can use to show us, but just imagine the two, the place on your knee, where your knee, or even your elbow, this bone joins this bone, as this bone is joining the second bone of your of your body you know as it's joining i want to explain it better you you will you will you will have the um, like coming from here you will have that fat if you're obese you will have um a kind of obesity we call increased adiposity and then it will go to low grade inflammation and it will increase flow inflammatory cytokines and adipokines all those are all those their grammar but that weight will be telling on your bone and what happens is they will begin to you will begin your bone your joints here will begin to have some kind of formation of osteocytes and then your article cartilage will degrade and then your the inflammation will also be there and then all these things will make your cartilage when it's degraded lubrication and secretion will reduce and then bone to bone will begin bone to bone touch will begin and once you begin to have bone to bone touch it will now be that you are already on either grade three or grade four of arthritis maybe by monday i might be able to tell us the stages of arthritis the symptoms of those stages of arthritis so that you will know the stage where you are and know how to run as much as your leg can carry you to make sure you're healthy so reducing adipose tissue while maintaining muscle mass is very very good for osteoarthritis especially for mobility so activity generating changes in your white adipose tissue including you know some of those um, increased mitochondrial biogenesis will also help you to reduce your weight and also help you to increase your activity so when we are talking about weight loss actually we are talking about weight and osteoarthritis it's that pressure let me put it that way. It's just like, just imagine, you know, when they carry, um, when, they, when you have like a bottle and then you now come and put a heavier bottle on top of it, what, do, what happens? It will compress. So it's like compressing your cartilage, removing it, degrading it, reducing it, and then allowing it to go. So actually, calorie restriction is very, very important. It's very, very important in weight loss <laughs> many people who are having osteoarthritis of, or any kind of um, arthritis you'll find out that they are either having some kind of activities that they are not supposed to have or they are obese or overweight and that's why i say learn your body when you learn your body you understand what i'm saying i use myself as an example i traveled and i had to stay on quarantine for complete one month sort of it was supposed to be two weeks. We went for two weeks. We did a two weeks quarantine. Then it was ready for us to see the professor for my husband's eye. And then they said the child had COVID. So she had to quarantine for two weeks herself. So that now made me to stay in that apart hotel with all the exercises I'm doing. But you know, it's not the same. It wasn't my normal lifestyle. So I was telling my husband, I'm adding, you know, hey, hey, I'm adding small, small. Load. This thing is not my normal lifestyle. I tried my best to do more as much as I can do but of course so as we were, before we came back I told myself I said you know what I'm going to go on my weight loss program on my on my detox program because my body was already talking to me I have some part of my body I don't even need to weigh myself 
that tells me when I'm overweight, my right leg. <laughs> you know, I told us forever move was my savior from arthritis. Jesus who helped me, but forever move was the thing that just kept it away. You know, because I was having this pain and each time I go to the hospital, they will say arthritis and they will say, eh, there's nothing you can do about it. Just go and manage it. Use your pain relief, make sure mm -hmm, all that. I said, no, that's God did not create me to be having pain everywhere I'm going. So, but one thing I did was to go and study and I found that weight was part of it. So I made up my mind I'll reduce weight. And immediately I started taking my forever move, especially when I have long trips, strenuous day, I take my forever move, you know, in, in those days. And in two, three months time, I found out that that pain reduced. So I worked on my weight and these days I don't have it. But anytime I add weight, I stress myself. Remember what I said about causes of osteoarthritis. I'm mentioning them as I'm telling us my story. Weight, strenuous work, especially if the strenuous work is consistent. Or you do it, stop it, do it again. Then my right leg will begin to send signs to me. So I know what to do. So if you're overweight, I am telling you, you can take anything you like. What will happen is you're dealing with the symptom. You're not dealing with the cause of your problem. If you're overweight, if you're obese, my sister, that is the root cause of your, or one of them, let me not say that is the only one, that is one of the root causes of your osteoarthritis, rheumatoid, or, you know, or maybe your, your leg, whether it's coming on the leg or any type of arthritis you're having, so you need to work on your weight. It's very, very important that you work on your weight. Some people say, yeah, hey, you add and lose. You add, lose, add if you don't maintain the good lifestyle. But when you maintain the good lifestyle, you will lose and you won't add again. And that's why I advise people to go on my clean nine weight loss jump start. That's what I'm doing now. I'm on a nine days clean nine program, you know. For the first two days, you be detox. I could feel it. The second, I will, you know, each day time I'm taking clean and I'll be telling my husband, this is where it's working because I studied my body and I could feel it. The first day, like I told those who listened to me on Monday, was my intestine. It cleared, it was just clearing. And then it moved on onto other parts of my body as if it's going with my blood and I could feel it. I feel younger. I feel stronger. This is me. If I tell you what I've been through for one month, you will wonder, but I'm stronger. I'm healthy. I'm happier. I'm in a better mood, you know, because I keep daily detoxifying and then I take my quarterly detox. So overweight, I beg of you, start your weight loss jump start. Let's not waste money. One woman called me and said, hey, I've taken this. I've taken that. I've spent so much money. I hope this year will work for me. The first thing I asked, I said, how is your blood pressure? How is your weight? So that we know where we are working from. We know where we are working from. What do you eat? How do you eat? When do you eat? These are some of the things that we ask you. And then know what to place you on. And know what kind of weight loss program to place you on. And then I guide you until you enter that lifestyle that can give you a better health. It's very, very important for us. Let's not deceive ourselves. Weight reduction and maintenance of an optimal weight is challenging. We all know. <laughs> Particularly when you are not moving. So activity should be, should be the, that one of mobility exercises weight loss and program portion control intermittent fasting all these things are wrong and measured into a program for you that can actually help you you know so but today well what we are looking at is weight loss its effects and the remedies so i'm just trying to tell you all the effects we'll soon go to what to do what are you supposed to do weight loss so reduce weight that's ultimately <laughs> ultimately it's reduced weight but you know we're going to be sharing some of those things in details the so weight reduction in overweight or obese osteoarthritis patient 
reduces joint impact and injurious loading like I told us and then it improves inflammatory adipokine secretion patterns and positively affects your metabolic risk profile. That's it. So this is the science behind it. Because if you note the science behind it, then you will be able to know what to do and also convince yourself when you're going into the program that, yeah, this will, you know, achieve the result for me and I need it. Okay, somebody is asking, man, what do you mean? What do you detox with? Well, I detox with Forever Aloe Vera Gel and um, Garcinia, Fiber, and um, I also use Tam. So there are five things I use. Usually, um, when I want to do a fast weight, if I want to combine detox and weight loss, I don't use my light ultra. I use what I've told you. I go a lot on, on vegetables and fruits and this pro, um, supplement so that the supplements will give me the correct nutrients that I need. You know, sometimes when you're doing some kind of weight loss program and you go on diet, you might not get all the nutrients you need from all your food. But Garcinia, we give you light ultra for those who are not really going in want fast weight loss. Um, Garcinia will give it to you. Aloe vera gel with the 210 nutrients and the fiber. We give you all the nutrients that you need to make up for some of those that you're lacking from the foods you're not taking. Hello, NGRI. You're welcome to this evening's broadcast. So effective dietary intervention we actually help with weight loss, weight management. So um, I'm going to be sharing some of the things, but let me just answer. Today I'm a little, I'm using a little devices, my phone and my laptop is not behaving itself. My MacBook is not behaving itself. So, um, or rather it's not the MacBook. I think it's actually, it's actually the network. <laughs> so it's not letting me see you. I have to see you on where I'm talking. Um, um, Osla Avasa, you good evening, Lawal. Hello, Ude Udongwa. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. Genovi, you're welcome. All right, yeah, yeah, Oluwato, you chat me on my number. Hello, Anne, how are you? Good evening, Comfort. Good evening, Bello, Oluwa Shola. Oh, you're enjoying the program. Thank you very much. We're looking at weight loss, we're looking at, um, overweight, obesity, and the effect on osteoarthritis and the remedies. We are going through the remedies very soon. Hello, Chinere, you're welcome. Welcome, Immaculate. Welcome, Hannah. Welcome, Rose. I've answered you what I use for detox, mainly aloe vera, garcinia, um, farm, and my fiber. Jay Rose said, I bought the dumbbell and the fitness ball. I hate doing exercise, but since I got this equipment, I am enjoying doing it daily. Ah, God bless me. <laughs> Thank you, Rose, for sharing that testimony. Can you hear Rose? She says she bought the dumbbell and the fitness ball, and she's enjoying her exercise. That's what I'm saying. You know, you need to be active. You need to do your, I love fitness ball exercises and my dumbbells. You know, by Saturday, we're still going to use, um, fitness ball to do our exercises you know like i told us i travel everywhere with it it's very easy to pump it's very easy to deflate and travel with thank you rose for sharing the testimony good evening ng good evening olua toyi and um, good evening rose joy okay she's thanking me for the detox and good evening edith your products will arrive tomorrow <laughs> i've already asked them to organize it so your product will be with you by tomorrow afternoon and if you don't get it please make sure you chat me to tell me about it all right so um i want us to look at some of the um um dietary intervention that may be of benefit for those who are having osteoarthritis Janice, you're welcome to this evening's broadcast so weight reduction in overweight or obese patients is what we're supposed to do. And what do you do? Now, just look at it. Weigh yourself. Note what your weight is. Good evening, Adaeze. Thank you for loving the program. Okay, if you all love the program, send me the love to me now. <laughs> Encourage me with thumbs up and all the love flowing in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let it flow in. Let me know you're enjoying it. Anyway, so weight loss. Good evening, Ogundeji. So weight, weight reduction in overweight or obese, obese patients is what you're supposed to do. So I was saying weigh yourself. If you're weighing like 80 kilograms, thank you, thank you for the love. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you for the thumbs up. If you're weighing like 80 kilograms or you're weighing like 100 kilograms or somebody told me she was weighing 130 kilograms and working with her now to reduce her weight to 100. Now, I go step by step. First nine days, we work on five to nine kg and then the next 15 days we work on her reaching 10 to 12 and then we will now jump start after that jump start we now go into the normal lifestyle for 30 days you know it's not good for you to lose weight so fast you need to go gradually step by step stage by stage until it becomes a lifestyle for you anyway so what i'm saying whatever your weight is please aim to lose 10 percent of that body weight as your first target okay aim to lose 10 percent then what do you note regular contacts with whoever it's coaching you or you if, it's, if you're coaching yourself you know you can coach yourself have a diary where you record what is happening then also put what you have been eating put um what you have left you know you don't have to um suffer yourself for or how do I put it? Stress yourself or kill yourself all at once. Gradually reduce some of those things you like and love eating that are not healthy. Okay? You can start by saying, I will reduce sugar. I will remove sugar. And then you replace it with honey. And then gradually you start removing honey. And say, okay, I'm replacing honey with some natural nuts that are not that heavy. You know, that will give me my omega-3 that will give me my omega-3 um, fatty acids and not giving me sugar. Then you can now also start, okay, look at the carbohydrates you're taking, step by step. Remove those that are high in carb that are not good for you. You start reducing it gradually to whole grains and then to vegetables. Vegetables and um, carbohydrates are the best for you. Like I told somebody, I said, I only took a bar. In Abuja, when I visited my daughter, my, my daughter-in-law, our, our son, you know, before we traveled. So I told her, I said, this journey I'm going to, <laughs> I don't know if um, they will have swallow. And incidentally, I didn't go with my side long husk and we weren't staying long. So I just told her, oh yeah, make eba for me. I want to eat eba, you know, and I ate eba. So, semovita, pounded yam, all those things, they might be won't say, yeah. I go on vegetable I go on vegetable swallow, garden egg, cabbage, even this time I combined all the green vegetables when I knew we were traveling out of um, waste bathing to Berlin. I took all the vegetables in the fridge, I blended all of them and I used all to actually make up, um, to make um, amala for myself. So what am I saying? Gradual, take it gradually, step by step, remove something bad, add something good. So aim at 10% and then have your diary, you know, and then also have a change of lifestyle, a behavior. Decide what to change. Like my sister that said she bought her dumbbell, she bought her fitness ball and she's now adding exercises. That could be another change that you can add to what you're doing. All right. So also you can have um, restriction without compromising your micronutrient intake. That's why I say some supplements by, might be essential for you when you're going on some of these weight loss issues. And then your exercise should be, you know, aerobic exercises, strengthening and flexibility, tailored in your mobility. Like I always talk about your strength training with your dumbbells and your fitness bell, you know. Then you also need a kind of beneficially dietary lipid modification if you're already having osteoarthritis. You need a kind of dietary lipid modification. And how do you do this to reduce, to modify your lipid, your dietary lipid? One, reduce your intake of um, omega-6 fatty acids. Remember in my last video, I talked about a balance of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acid. So you need to reduce your intake of omega-6 fatty acids by substituting them with oil-rich, monounsaturated you know, um, fats like um, canola, olive oil, I've talked about this. Then you also need to increase intake of your long chain omega-3 fatty acids through um, a direct source of EPA and DHA. 
and this comes by your increasing your intake of oily fish salmon mackerel tuna um supplements that have omega-3 fatty acids and then you consume them a minimum of two portions a week for your general lifestyle guidelines you know two portions if you can do three or four better for you portions a week then also consider you know a daily standard fish supplement like active c if you're having osteoarthritis and you need to reduce your lipid you need to consider that okay so what do you also do women who are pregnant or breastfeeding should actually avoid fish with high mercury like shark swordfish king mackerel and also should avoid cod liver oil due to the vitamin a content in it this is just a bypass so that when you're pregnant you watch what you eat also then managing your diet you need to lower your cholesterol profile if you're having osteoarthritis what are your your numbers some people don't know their numbers please you need to go for tests and know your numbers from time to time so you need to reduce your number you know and sources that will give you um cholesterol you already know some of those things like some of the eggs and some of the um, red meats you're eating so make plant protein your choice like beans soya beans i talked about this last week you can go on my last week video and watch it to know all these ones then cholesterol serum lipids and comorbidities you know these are like advanced stages that the doctors will also help you to note soy meal soy protein you know beans will be very very helpful for you so you need to reduce some of the intakes that you have of um some food like red meat and um, alcohol you know and the rest go down go on my page and watch that last week's video time is going fast i don't want to go through that again what's the time now this um 42 minutes past so you need to take a lot of fiber soluble fibers soy protein nuts you know if you're obese and you're overweight you need to remain it's important for you to know how to manage your lifestyle and the rest like i'm doing a promo on fiber for people this week is going on 20 percent discount because when some people say they don't like beans and you know beans has a lot of fiber some people don't have the time some people don't have the they don't want to eat fiber food so if you don't want to eat fiber food you use your fiber app I, I take my fiber every day that i'm detoxifying it comes in a in a stick incidentally i can't nobody is here with me today <laughs> so i can't get tell them go and get this for me i would have shown you a fiber but i'm i'm advertising it i might also put it for you on the page once i finish i'll just put it so you can go back on my aging with grace page you will see what i mean by fiber and what it does so i put it inside a bottle of water like this maybe like half bottle of water 75 cl bottle I put half of it i put my fiber i shake it and i take it at least once a day so it gives you like what a plate of beans can give you the fiber a plate of beans can give you and then another thing you need if you're having osteoarthritis and you're overweight you need to achieve adequate level of vitamin a adequate level of vitamin c and adequate level of vitamin e in your system so you need daily intake on consumption of rich foods foods that are dietary sources of vitamin a c and e i talked about it last week you can check it and if you can't get these foods all those food i mentioned then go on good supplements that can help you remember what we're looking at today is dietary intervention you know like adults um recommended adult intake for vitamin a is like 650 to 750 you know per day for and they have different for different nations if you can't get this go on vitamin a supplements and um, like our a beta care vitamin e supplements a beta care combines a and e vitamin c absorbency and we have it in so many other supplements and if you don't like my own buy whichever one that is working for you and make sure you take it but please be healthy then you also need to increase your vitamin d intake by um taking foods that are rich in that vitamin e d like um, omega-3 fatty uh, um, acid or salmon fish um 
some kind of soya milk, plant milk, plant-based milk. They are also very rich in um, vitamin D. And if your cholesterol level is good, you can look at taking eggs, you know, but not too much of egg. But for those who have um, rheumatoid arthritis, they also need to expose themselves to daylight, summer daylight, like early morning um, sun for those of us in Nigeria. You need it a lot, maybe for 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your type of skin, you know. And if you're going under the sun, rub your sunscreen and make sure you cover yourself <laughs> with your sunscreen. So during summer um, times for those outside, it's good for you to expose yourself to sunlight without... Um, okay, now they're saying without a protective cream for approximately 10 to 20 minutes. So maybe without your sunscreen for approximately 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your skin type, like they said. Because with minimal sun exposure, supplementation of 15 to 20, you know, you road gram per day should be encouraged. So whichever way, at certain age, you must have your vitamins you must take your vitamins as supplement i'm sweating a lot i had to come to where i can get good light today where i am the lighting system ah they don't even want big lights i had to come to the bathroom you can see the time <laughs> and i made clothes so it's really hot here yeah? i want to finish fast and go and still under the fire. <laughs> increase your vitamin k intake by taking green leafy vegetables you know, like I told us what they are last week, and we did okra and spinach and ogo, you know. So, um, then also use olive oil, like I said, because it's a, it's a kind of, um, it will help increase the bioavailability when you take those spinach and those green vegetables, you know. So, I've told us all those vegetables. Go to my page now, now. Just click on that Monday broadcast and watch it. I don't want to start calling the names again and telling us what we 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 have already talked about again all right so these are what we need lose weight to lose weight dietary intervention exercise and mobility and go on weight loss program that's what i said don't deceive yourself and don't give up some people will say hey, we have tried this we have tried that it did not work for us don't give up if it's not working for you, find out why it did not work for you and improve in the next one. I think I'll take some questions now and then we call it a day. And if you want to go on the weight loss program, chat me on my number plus seven plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two. And I'll be telling you um, what to do and how to do it. I don't have time. For people who will come and say, I don't have this. If you are adding weight, find a way to lose it. I beg to be very good for you. All right. I think somebody is asking a question here. Let me take that question. Thank you for loving my program again. Welcome, Ngozi Obianika. Idi, thank you for thanking me. <laughs> Emma says she gives me double thumbs up. Okay, I receive. Oh, I receive. I receive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lua. So you say my program is interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Odwaka Bob says, Well done. Bless evening. Fresh from Shesha. Oh, this is your first time. Let's welcome Precious. This is our first time of joining us. Please, as much as there as many people as possible, welcome Precious to our Aging with Grace page is a one-stop shop for healthier living where you stay away from hospital using natural things you find around you and i'm your coach coach achoma ngozi all right please how is vegetable swallow made ah ada is a go on my page just put it because i've taught that a number of times and um, i think um if you put um garden egg amala it might pop up but if not chat me on my number i'm going to send you the edited video of it okay rose joyce says um god bless you ma for mentioning this omega-6 fatty acids which is a major cause of inflammation we need to balance it omega-6 is not too bad but when you take too much of it and it's higher than your omega-3 then it's bad for you all right good evening grace 
please how okay hey, another person is asking how um vegetable swallow is made <laughs> okay ah uh, i don't know if i'll have the time to drop it on the page again no i will check but if you chat me on my whatsapp it will remind me please chat me oh somebody's already saying it blend it and sieve it then turn with xylem husk as a binder vegetable like that hey? well don't sieve if you sieve you're losing the nutrient please don't sieve what you do is use a power blender now that she has said it let's just talk about it briefly what's the time so you buy your eggplant your garden egg or your cabbage okay she has put it there use power blender what i usually do i just put like very tiny water and i blend the if i cut it into tiny tiny pieces i put it in that power blender so it blends it with that very tiny water then i now start i cut it and i put so that once i put it on fire i then i use xylem husk to turn it and it's good don't sieve out the water you're sieving out the nutrients from me hello stella daniel you're welcome Kate is working um kate is watching from dallas thank you for joining us from dallas kate good evening amina edith thank you for the love <laughs> oh yeah we are welcoming you precious um fabian good evening watching from the gambia wow so we have people from almost every continent joining us this evening thank you all for joining me so overweight causes of overweight effects of overweight and remedies i've already told us what the effects are how it reduces the cartilage how it forms osteoarthritis how it reduces the secretion and the fluid at your joint because of the weight the pressure i've already told us those you can go and watch the video again and then i now say the remedies are weight reduction through dietary intervention and also exercise and mobility and then i said now the details the process the procedure and how you can do it depends on you individually because you have there are different things that make you add weight and when you chat me privately we will discuss your own particularly and then find a program that can work for you and i take you through it i'm your coach loving you more making sure you stay healthy thank you for joining me again oh chi ugo says please ma what is the remedy for the pains for the pains that you're having initially it's good for you to use topical like aloe heat or you take forever move because what the her question is very very correct if you're in pain you will not be able to go on weight loss program so what do i advise and that's why i made forever move I made it a 20% discount for Ross at this period. I made it 25 and then 20 so that you'll be able to buy it and start off and the pain will go. In fact, I have a testimony. There's somebody who has been having very serious pains on the shoulder and he has tried ibuprofen for weeks and all that. So he now said, let him even try forever move. And he took the forever move. He's taking it for like five days now. And he's like, this thing, this pain is reducing me. So forever movies is one of the best combinations scientifically scientifically proven that can help reduce that weight so my dear uh Deze or chugo buy forever move it will help reduce the pain while you go on your program that can help oh you want me to drop your number again okay my number again okay let me drop my number again and then we call it a day plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two all right so that's my number again i've dropped my number again thank you all for joining me god bless you see you on saturday get your fitness ball ready i'm on a trip again so i don't have my dumbbell at home but i'm going to find some bottles to you so see you on saturday when we enjoy ourselves in the morning and make sure you love yourself Eat well. Bye.